My name is Graham Park. I'm a DJ, amongst other things. Growing up in the Astor House era has influenced me a lot, really, because the energy, the excitement, and just the rawness of that period, um, I'd like to apply to most of my life, really. Um, maybe not as much as I get older, but it was just a really inspiring period. And the fact that it's the 21st century and people are still talking about this amazing musical revolution. It was more than music, though. It was, it was a, an attitude, it was a lifestyle, and I like to think that it's still with me inside. It's, that's true of a lot of people of my age, actually. House music's been around uh, as long as I've been a DJ, really. Or in fact, actually, I've been a DJ longer than house music, because I started DJing when I was 19, which was in 1983, 84. And it wasn't really till 85, 86, certainly 87, that house music started to really take off in the Midlands and the North. It's like, just get that in there, not in the Southeast. It did catch up eventually. And then um, the Acid House rave thing happened. It was massive. And then in the 90s, the kind of club culture got huge and I was part of all that. And at no point in the past 36 years have I ever thought, well, I think it's about time to hang up my headphones. It's great to see new producers and new artists from the past five, 10 years who are clearly influenced by a lot of the music people like me used to play in the late 80s and 90s. And you can hear those elements that they've taken, but kind of reimagined them and reinvented them. So for someone like me who's been DJing since the early 80s, it's great to play new material that's clearly influenced by Acid House. It's, it's really exciting.